Welcome to Side Notes. I've been out and about today in Toronto. We went to a music conference. I'm here with a gentleman who is the GM of the Canadian Urban Music Conference. It's going to be happening in September. Darren Johnson. Well, thank you so much for your time, Darren. Thank you for having me. And if you take a look back at your, your before you got involved in the management side, you were involved as an artist. Yes, a musician, a drummer. And what, what kind of touring, I know you shared a story about Janet Joplin, and there's uh, your manager at the time took you aside and uh, you know, showed you the Poison Show and taught you some lessons about from the management side. What were some things that really stick out? Well, what, when, when he sat down, well, when he saw us in Japan, we were playing and Poison came through. His name was Scotty Ross. He took me, and when he said he wanted to deal with our group, the next day he took me to a Poison concert, and I got a chance to see a whole other side of the world and started to understand the type of monies he was dealing with, them being out on a 17-month tour, making a quarter of a million dollars per night per each guy, and, and five million a piece in merchandise, and it just opened up my eyes to a whole new world. You talked about during the conference there, you mentioned a Toronto sound and a Canadian sound. What is the Toronto sound? Toronto sound, I think, is, is, is Toronto is a mixture of uh, um, of West Indian, if you call it their music sound, and they and they have a hip hop scene here. My thing is that, and, and the pop scene here is phenomenal, and uh, my scene is here that they, they they have to find a way or just do a challenge, make it a challenge to themselves to fuse the, the, the urban and the, and the, and the uh, West Indian thing together. And I think that's the sound because it's, it's so natural here. If you go down uh, King Street, you hear a sound. You go down Queen Street. And if you can fuse that together, you got, you got that's Toronto. That's Toronto. I don't what, think what about the Canadian sound? Well, that is Canadian. If you go throughout Canada, Canada is rock. You know, Canada is, uh, when you go to Quebec, you have the French, and, it, and, it, and even with that, you have your fusion of West Indian music up in there, influence up in uh, uh, Montreal, and uh, Quebec, I mean, I, I perform from as far as Toronto all the way to uh, Chicoutimi, which is six hours north of Quebec City, and they all loved R&B music, and they all loved reggae. I found one thing about them, they loved West Indian music. Well, you actually, in the past, you've been involved with Puffy, you've been involved with uh, Jay-Z, you had an interesting story. You shared how Puffy actually got into the music world to begin with. He stood outside this building. Well, that was Ab story. I'm known uh, Puff from being an intern, and uh, he was at Howard University. And he used to take the train from Howard all the way back to New York and just intern and, and wasn't getting a pay, just grinding it out. So after being, I had a producer that was signed to him, which is Stevie J. He was one of his, uh, one of the hitmen, his top producers. And uh, being around Puff, just seeing how he moved and seeing how much of a hard work he was and everything he scrutinized as far as from mixing to mastering to uh, we were there for the first time he put Mace in the booth and he just told him to hold on. Then he put him in and he knew the exact time and the exact sound and he could get that record played when Puff did a record that day, he could get it on radio that night. So I found that was one of his strong points. And he, Puff said, keep him dancing. And he was the party king, and he's been ever since. you traveled the whole entire world. You've been sort of like uh, the heartbeat, you know, the heartbeat behind the music scene. Uh, what are some of the things that you look at? When you're looking at an artist that's coming to you, they want to, to, be, they want to be managed, what is the main thing that you want them to work on? Well, I mean, each artist is different in, in the the vision. They have to sit down and tell me what their vision is. Because, if you know, we can't know where we're going if we don't know. I mean, when you go to the, I use the airport scenario. When you go to the airport, the ticket counter, the lady there, she tells you, you got to tell her where you're going. You got to tell her who you are, where you're going, and, and she can't give you anything until you tell her where you're going. So that's the scenario I use. And what's your website real quick? Uh, well, I'm at CanadianUrbanMusic.com. So... And you have any last words that you want to share? I know that they're in a rush to get us out of here tonight. Just play it. Just play it. Thank you for your time. Thank you.